What's up everybody and welcome back to another action figure review. Today I'm checking out NECA's two-pack of Mondo Gecko and Kerma from Teenage Mutants Ninja Turtles. Mondo Gecko's the name and stealing's my game. I've always loved Mondo Gecko's character. He's a big and beefy, fourth wall breaking, cool guy lizard with a turbo thruster skateboard. How awesome is that? He makes his first appearance in the episode, Michelangelo meets Mondo Gecko. But I gotta escape. This is truly humiliating. Mondo is a visual representation of 90s punks, and he uses more 90s lingo than myself and Michelangelo combined. His massive motorized skateboard lets him cruise around the sewer at lightning speeds, and he's probably considered the greatest skateboarder of all time, right? It was actually Mondo's first Playmates action figure that made me want to get into skateboarding as a child. But the first time I hopped on a deck, I fell on my shell and have it hopped on ever since. Now Kerma makes his first appearance in the episode, Planet of the Turtleloids. He's a turtleloid who needs help saving his city of shell re -Law, so he rounds up Ground Chuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles, and they head off and save the day. These two characters never make an appearance in the same episode together, but it's pretty darn cool that we get this rad two-pack. Both these action figures look so awesome, and I'm pretty jazzed to be adding them to my collection. Now let's take a closer look at NECA's Mondo Gecko and Kerma from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And here it is everyone, the front of the box with Mondo Gecko featured on the cover. It's too bad we don't see Kerma on the cover, but I'm not gonna lie, I'd prefer to see Mondo Gecko riding that sick, sick skateboard down the sewer. So of course we have the Ninja Turtle logo up top with the Shred Mondo Shred title of this volume. This is actually volume number five. And here is the back of the box. Up top here we have a short little bio for Mondo Gecko and below it we have Kerma's bio. Plucked by the sewers by the malevolent Mr. X, Mondo Gecko only knew a life of crime. That was until this gnarly skateboarder met his long last sewer mate, Michelangelo. Mondo and Mikey soon realized they were born to be best buds and teamed up to thwart Mr. X's villainous venture. And for Kerma's bio, it reads, Hailing from the distant planet of the Turtleoids, Kerma was no typical terrapin. As the sanctity of his beloved utopian city of Shaori La was terrorized by the treacherous Herman the Horrible, Kerma searched the galaxy for savior. Surmissing an earthling could protect his peace-loving people, Kerma brought Groundchuck, Dirtbag, and the Turtles back to his homeworld to defeat the devious double-headed dragon. And on the top right here, we have some small product shots of Mondo Gecko and Kerma. We have Mondo on a skateboard. We have Kerma on Mondo's skateboard. Kerma holding some TNT or explosives. And here we have Mondo chatting it up with Michelangelo. Really nice art featured here. I am a big fan of this piece down at the bottom. And there it is. That is our packaging for Shred Mondo Shred. Now let's go ahead and bust this guy out of here. This looks pretty cool, I must say, so far. And I actually didn't realize that this one actually comes with a blaster. And this was featured in the Ultimate Foot Soldier and the previous Foot Soldier NECA pack. So that's cool, you have another one there. And now that I think about it, Mondo Gecko actually does use that blaster. You heard the man, Turtle. I guess this is it. Love the size of this skateboard, love the TNT, love the little lizard. Oh, I, I love Kerma. Everything looks awesome. Yo, this guy looks so cool. He's so fun to play with. And here he is, guys, our Mondo Gecko. And boy, oh boy, is he absolutely amazing uh, to start things off with. I'm so happy and having a blast of a time with this guy. This is an awesome looking skateboard, and I just love riding around with him on there. I've been actually going up and down the walls, down the hallway with this guy already. It's so fun, and his articulation is just so good. And everything about him looks great. He look like the paint job looks awesome. Very detailed. Uh, I, his accessories are cool as well. Like, I don't think I have a problem with him. He's pretty perfect right out of the box. I've only played with Kerma a little bit. 
So here he is. I love this little guy. He looks great. The sculpt looks really nice as well. Good paint job. I don't also I also don't have any problems with him. He's more of an accessory though. But the star of the show is Mondo Gecko. And honestly, uh what what can I say about this guy? He is so sick. And I'm so impressed and happy with how this guy looks. Let's jump into it. I'm gonna go over his details, his paint job, and of course his accessories and articulation. Look how cool he is! Look at his knee pad here. Love the skull on that. I love the little red spike here on his knee pad. He looks very similar to the pl original Playmates Mondo Gecko, which is really cool. I love the shorts on him. I love the, the, the chopped up, torn, torn apart shorts here and his shirt. It's very much like Bill from Bill and Ted. I love that little crop top that he's wearing. I do really like his purple shorts here, how they are torn. It's actually like a soft rubber here, so it's very malleable. Mind you, his articulation is pretty top notch, so nothing gets hindered whatsoever. But I do really appreciate that it's very soft there. Same with this spike on his right knee. It's also very, very soft. As well as his hair in the back here, also soft plastic, as well in the front here, soft plastic, his hat flap here, uh, the visor is also soft. Uh, overall, this is a very, I don't want to say like soft figure, but um, a lot softer than I was expecting or that I'm used to. You could even move his uh, finger, like his digits, his, fing his fingers individually. Now his tail did come separated and you just had to pop it into place. Easily, easily removable. Again, this figure is pretty soft, which is very convenient. So you just pop it in there, and there you go. It's it's on. Now let's just look at the coloring on him. Look how vibrant he is. I love the yellow. You remember from the Ultimate Foot Soldier how I mentioned that this Nekatoon line has the dark color in the back and the light color in the front. So the yellow here, I don't think there's two different yellows. So I think it's just the one. And then you see all this black line work here. Man, I love that. It looks so cool. Exactly like the cartoon come to life. Let's look at his tail here. Check that out. All the details on his tail. Phenomenal work. Love the little lines in his leg here. The coloring on this guy is just perfect. The paint job, mint. Not a blemish in sight. I have already noticed though that the paint does chip, especially uh, at the joints, especially in the hands here. But that is really the only issue I've found with the paint job so far. Oh, I love the little chest design here with the scales. I love the logo on his yellow shirt here. I don't know what that is. I can't tell if it's a check mark or a pipe or I had a lightning bolt. I don't know what it is. Oh, look at that. Just noticed you got a little paint job for the nails. Oh, I love little details like that. I, I'm a really big fan of the black line work. I thought I wasn't going to be. You can't get any more 90s than this. Oh yeah, the ponytail. Love the details in his eyes, actually. Very cool red, nice and deep eye color. Really cool, I love his mouth. Love how you can see the teeth. His teeth look so cool and his tongue, his big fat lizard tongue looks really neat. And what's awesome is you can articulate the jaw. How sick is that? He's just so vibrant. He's gonna stand out like a highlighter on the shelf. The aesthetics just look so outstanding. How can you not want a figure like this? Next up, we're checking out his articulation, starting with his feet. And he has some nice ankle rockers right down at the bottom here. He can move it up and down and he can rotate his ankle. Well done there. He has a double jointed knee so he can get all those cool ninja poses and those sewer surfing poses, you know, that he's going to definitely definitely require now he can actually rotate his quad here right where that uh, his shorts cut there so that's really nice that you can actually rotate that and moving on up to his thigh you can actually do the splits with him uh, you can also spin his thigh like that moving on up to his torso he does have two pieces of torso articulation starting with the bottom one you can actually rotate it feels good it's not super loose he's loose enough that you're not struggling and stressing to articulate him and then he has the upper torso articulation so you can rotate that as well now he doesn't have the the greatest motion uh in the torso actually as you can see he basically has no motion moving forward and backwards so that's a little bit unfortunate that he can't really move uh luckily his his legs and everything else articulates well enough where you can kind of get that curve in his torso. 
and it's okay it's not really a big deal to me and moving on up to his shoulders you can only move them about that high which is perfect it's uh, more than enough for all those sewer surfer poses that you're going to be putting this guy in like that you can also rotate the shoulders like so he does have a bicep swivel here where the shirt cuts just like his shorts and his elbow is a single jointed elbow it's not a double jointed but that again is more than enough movement for this mondo gecko i don't i don't think i really need a double jointed elbow on this guy so it, it works okay and it, it also spins so i'm not going to complain any further about that his hands can rotate and spin of course and it has that in and out movement as you can see on my finger here that the paint is chipping just a little bit from his wrist and from his elbow right there so the paint does chip off a little bit he has some good articulation in his head you can spin it all the way around and he has some pretty awesome movement up and down love that he doesn't have as much movement looking up because i think his hair here gets in the way and my favorite articulated part on this guy is his jaw how it opens i love that it can open like that and he can basically eat your finger ow come on mondo pretty good articulation not gonna lie and it looks really cute oh and his tail you can actually rotate his tail like so it is too bad that there is no other articulation in here uh, i wish it was like a maybe a wire piece where you could bend and so that it would keep its form um main reason is because it weighs him down and it makes him very difficult to stand up you just have to really counterbalance him with like accessories or maybe make him lean forward a little bit but the tail will weigh him down a little bit if you just try to keep him straight up like that uh, but that's okay. It's not a big deal. He's going to be on his skateboard 99% uh, of the time I have him on display. But there it is. There's the articulation on this Mondo Gecko. Uh, big fan of it. I would say that this is a 9 out of 10 for articulation. I have no zero complaints about this guy. Absolutely none. God, I love the way his shoes look. Look how cool those shoes are. Let's go ahead and check out some of his accessories. And starting things off, we're going to be checking out his skateboard. Now, it is a pretty basic skateboard. There's nothing on the bottom here, which is a little disappointment. But you know what? Honestly, that just that just makes more canvas space for any of you creators out there. You can, uh, you know, deck out the bottom of this board however you want. That's actually a pretty good idea. So I might go about doing something down there. Now, the wheels do spin. They're not tight or anything. They do roll around real, real easily. Love the paint job on here, love the coloring, love the line work for the flame here, and the motor, the engine, the turbo thruster, looks very, very cool. Nice gray in color with the white pipes there. Pretty straightforward skateboard there. It's actually quite large as well, it's basically the size of Mondo. It's pretty, pretty big. But that's his skateboard. Let's check out Kerma, the second special feature in this box. He does have articulation, uh, not that much. You can actually rotate his legs all the way around 360. Pretty good. He doesn't have any knee joints or anything. He does have this shoulder joint, so you can only move it in and out, up and down. Uh, you could rotate it. He doesn't have any elbow uh, articulation or anything, but he does have a hand swivel. So you can rotate his hand. You can't move it in and out, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm, not a, I'm not upset about this Kerma not having a lot of articulation. You could also, sorry, move his head really, really good. You can move it up and down. Not a lot, but enough, I would say, for this type of character. I just really love this little guy. I like his purple robe here with the blue belt. There's the dark purple shadow on the back. You see the dark green on the back of his head here. Love all the details in his hands as well. You can see those little black scale circles there. Same with on his knees. You can see all the line work on his knees. Some scale as well. His toes look really good. Nicely painted gray. I love his expression. He's so happy to get some help to save his city of Shell Rila. All the lines and the, uh, the, the scales right on his cheek. And his, uh, just the, the paint job in his eyes look really nice as well. 
put him out front here. You know what? He needs a little leverage. There we go. His other accessories, he comes with this money bag. Because if you didn't know who Mondo Gecko was, he starts off the episode that he uh, appe first appears in as a bad guy, as like a thief. Uh, he doesn't work for Shredder, but he just robs banks and people and, and stuff. So uh, there's a little money bag. Very well detailed. I love the little black line work. He also comes with this dynamite from the episode. You clumsy fool. So very cool that they included that. We get this blaster that we just saw in the Ultimate Foot Soldier. We have this little white gauntlet thing that you can actually attach to Mondo's wrists. But you just take it apart like that and then you just strap it to his wrist. And there you go. And it clips right onto his wrist. No problem. I'm pretty sure it is meant for his wrist. It actually looks like a, a wrist communicator as well. Almost looks like there's a little screen here, little buttons. Now he does come with a closed hand grip for his blaster and this money bag right here. He also comes with the left hand, bare knuckle hand. And last accessory is this little gecko that he comes with. How cute is that? You actually see him as a little gecko at the beginning of the episode where he walks around in the ooze that the turtles were walking around in. That's when Mondo was born. It was the same time the turtles were walking around in the ooze. Next, I'm going to show you guys how to replace the hands. What you want to do is you just want to pull his wrist out like that. Pop it into place. There we go. And let's do the other hand as well. And there we go, we just replaced his wrists. And now we can put that blaster in his hand. It almost looks like that's the hand for the money bag because the grip is a little bit smaller in that hand. And there we go, we have Mondo Gecko holding this bag of coin with a blaster to, uh, to your face. Now Kerma does have holes in the bottom of his feet so he too can ride the super skateboard as well so that's very very cool and while i'm at it uh mondo has two whole peg holes at the bottom of his feet hey you know you know the drill now of course we're going to compare mondo gecko with mondo gecko from playmates these two look amazing together i'm a big fan of you know how similar they actually look to one another a part of me does actually miss the the tongue sticking out of mondo's face i wish this mondo came with a a random tongue as well and why not toss in Kerma here as well? And why not just toss in that ultimate foot soldier over there? Now you can see that Mondo is actually a little bit, and by a little I mean a lot shorter than the foot soldier. But he is a bit stockier, a bit bulkier. I love the way this, this line looks so far, guys. Holy guacamole. Holy shell. So overall, I absolutely love this Mondo Gecko and Kerma action figure, guys. I have absolutely zero gripes and issues with them. These guys look exactly as they do in the TV show, and it's as if they just popped out of my TV and jumped right into my hands. I love the sculpture, I love the details, I love the paint job on these guys, how much they just pop in and want attention, demand attention. And when you do start playing with them, the articulation is just so top notch. The accessories are really nice as well, seeing that we get a Kerma action figure, one that I never expected to ever see in my entire life. So it's really cool that this guy comes with Mondo Gecko. His skateboard really rocks and really rolls. I love the dynamite and the money bag, and I love that blue blaster. Everything about this package is so excellent. All right, everyone, thanks for checking out my review of NECA's Mondo Gecko and Kerma 2-Pack. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a like, comment down below, and let me know if you have this figure and what you like or don't like about it. Come on, you can't beat a punk lizard that surfs around in the sewers on his jet-powered turbo skateboard all day. Nothing's cooler than that. But anyway, let's start the conversation down there, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're into action figure reviews. I'll be posting more photos of Mondo Gecko and Kerma on my Instagram, which you can check out at Claudio underscore Paola, so follow me there for more content. Thanks again for watching, and you can catch me in the next one.